So almost a year back, we played some earn to play games like X Infinity. It was churning us a pretty good amount of dough for our investments. But fast forward a year today, the game is more or less kind of dead and it's kind of like on life support right now. Risk losing life support systems. Understood. So we might be in a bear market right now, but there are still some projects that are constantly building, which I personally think is the right thing to do because bear markets is where you build your systems, you improve on what you have, and when the bull market comes, we are all prepared. Let's talk about Web3 games, and there has been a lot of controversy around Web3.0 games. Like the play to earn model is not sustainable, it's a Ponzi scheme, the next person has to be willing to pay more for what you paid for to make a profit, and loads and loads of other stuff. And yes, there are Ponzi schemes out there and other bad players who are looking to take your funds, but at the same time, there are also great projects who are pending launches. And in a new category of Web 3.0 games, we got the move to earn. And this is definitely something that we have seen influencers talking about, like games like Steppen, Sweat Coins, and even the Step app that allows you to earn crypto while you move about in the physical world. And on top of that, we're all now back to office and out for events, and leveraging a move to earn can be something fun to have, or even better to have because you're getting free income as you move around in the physical world. So now just imagine going to the mall, going to a run, walking your dog, can earn you some kind of side income or even cryptocurrencies that might be something good to have. But like X Infinity, you have to purchase something from the game in order to unlock learning mechanisms of the game, which is something that turns many people off. But nonetheless, there is this one project that caught my eye, which is Genopets. So Genopets did not sponsor this video, I'm no way affiliated with those guys at Genopet as well, but I'm just sharing my experiences so far, which has been a couple of days. So Genopet is the first free-to-play move to earn game, which means you don't have to spend a single cent to get started playing. And right now, I've got a Genopet, which is level 2, and the mechanics is going to sound kind of complicated for you, but I'll try and make it easy for you to understand. So in Genopets, it's called the Genoverse, and there are a few things that is happening at the same time. So we've got a dual token system, which is the key token and the gene token. So key token is the in-game currency and the gene token is the governance token. And there is also energy which is your steps that are banked in and you have to bank in your step every single day otherwise it's all wasted effort. So the three things that we covered which is energy, key and gene are used for upgrading your habitats which is the land of your genopet. And every day you're able to harvest key from your land as well. So if you want to think of it this way, it's kind of like SLP is the key in general pets and Gene is like AXS of X Infinity. So one of the most important resources in the game is energy which is converted from your steps as you walk. And you have to bank in your steps every single day and by banking in your steps, you get to convert them into energy which then you can use to level up your Gino pets, you can use to harvest your habitat and many other in-game actions. So therefore, I think the meta to this game is to earn as many steps as possible which will give you more energy to do more actions and unfortunately, you will not be able to purchase energy from anywhere else and therefore, you are motivated to walk. So it's a free-to-play model, you can mean your first general pet for free once you get an invite code for the game. But as of recording, the game is still in private beta and whitelisting for public beta is currently happening and I'll leave a link in the description down below so you guys can get started as well. So once you got your Gino pet, you can start walking to earn steps and then converting those steps into energy which you can use to level up your Gino pet. And in the future, when the market is open, you can sell your Gino pet for some Solana as well. But for the pay to earn model, there are quite a few ways you can earn from the game. So the very first one is to harvest key. So you can harvest key every single day from your habitat and there's an unlocking period which varies in rewards as well. So by choosing a longer unlocking period, you get a better rate in conversion. So for example, if you look at this table right now, you can see that with the Genesis land, you can earn up to 40 key every single day. And the exchange rate is 0.0095 to 0.02 depending on the unlocking days. Next to that, we can see the energy required to max out the earnings for a level 1 Genesis land, which can range between 4,200 to 2,000 steps which is dependent on the number of days you take to unlock. So right now, this might seem a bit counterintuitive for people to work less to earn more by locking, but this has good reasons as well. And since energy is converted from steps, energy is needed in almost every action of the game. Thus, being able to accumulate as much steps as possible or as much energy as possible will enable players to do more things in the game, like increasing the level of your general pets by giving them EXP or to earn other resources in the game. So now let's talk about the currency in Gino pets. And as we mentioned, there are two main currencies here at play, which is Key and Gin. So Key is like SLP once again, and Gin is like AXS. 
So if you're a paid player, by harvesting your habitats, you can receive key tokens every single day and this can be unlocked after a vested period, which then you can convert into Solana, which is how you get paid to play this game. But at the same time, your habitat will also produce crystals, which you can refine and then sell them on Magic Eden to get some income. So these crystals are NFTs and players can use crystals to upgrade their Geno pets, craft items, and much, much more in the game. But right now, the Genesis land starts at around 20 Solana at the time of recording, and there's also an option to purchase a normal land, which is roughly half the price of a Genesis land. However, if you're not into NFTs, but you want to earn from the ecosystem, you can try out staking as well. So by owning the Gene token, you don't have to necessarily play the game to earn something, but you are able to earn more Gene tokens by staking it in the mainframe, which is our website. So I do not own any Gene token as of yet, but the reward seems pretty good and it goes without saying that the longer you lock your Gene, the more rewards you will get. And from their website, you can see that the gene pool is only at 10% distribution, which means there is still quite a bit of space for players who want to take advantage of the pool to earn additional rewards. But with staking, do take note of the token value as well because the risk with staking is that the token is losing value, which is not what we want. And having said all that, right now the game is still pretty new and it's constantly developing as we speak. And there are things that will turn out well and there are things that might not be so good for us. So if you do want to get involved with the ecosystem, you can consider trying the free-to-play model before investing any money into the game. So let me know what you guys think of Genopet. Are there more move to earn or play to earn games that you guys are checking out right now? Share with me in the comments down below. And as always, drop a like if you haven't subscribed, turn on the notifications, stay safe, invest safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, general pets.